Well, people are kind of curious about how the Mac's doing, still. So, I thought I'd do a follow-up. I got Betsy back up and running. Yes, this is the computer that was up there that kept smacking. She's got two duty RW drives. That's three rival drives. Excuse the TV. And that's the monitor she's running on. She's running Robonco, my IRC bot, and my moderate moderating uh, client. So she's still doing work for Chris, just not the recording anymore. This is doing all the recording, as you can see. And there's a stream. There's the IM client right up there. And I uh, hope you can't read that because it's kind of confidential. Uh, so yeah, everything's set up there. Uh, I plan to keep the uh, email up there, Ray Roll. Here's the keyboard and the two mice. This one's for the iMac, I mean for the MacBook. And I also can use the trackpad, of course. And that's the Windows mouse, because usually all I have to do is right click work, usually, so I rarely use the actual keyboard. And this is a 100 foot extension cord for uh, the speakers or my headphones, depending on what I'm doing. I'm doing like really detailed work. I'll use the headphones. They're not the best things in the world, but they work. That's the video extender. And there's a external drive that I can't use yet. I have to find a powerful enough power USB hub so it can work off 5 volt uh, port because that's firewire and it's too powerful. It causes the USB to overload and I get that nice, beautiful warning message. So if you know of a USB hub that will work for that, for that hub down there, let me know. And this is the computer that's responsible for her, for the my computer's rebirth. Compact Presario, 325 Intel Celeron D processor, 256 megabyte PC, 100 DDR SD RAM, 40 gigabyte hard drive. C D R W blah 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 blah. So yeah, it's a half decent computer in its day. Uh, I had to use the heatsink mount off of this one. I stole the drives because uh well, they're awesome drives. So uh I don't know where the other drive came from. It only came with one drive originally, so I don't know where he got the other one, but it's an awesome drive. I mean, they're really, really stupid fast. And here's its hard drive, and this thing's stupid fast, too. I thought it was SSD. I keep wanting to say it's SSD. I don't know why. It said SSD somewhere on it. But I was corrected uh, a few minutes ago that it's not SSD. So I don't know what I'm going to use it for yet. Maybe I'll put 98 SE on this and dual boot. Hmm. I don't know. Give me ideas. And here's all the different cables that I kept at the old computer. Uh, this is another drive I found that doesn't go to that at all. So I don't know what I can do with it. It's got this weird proprietary connector. Do you know of anything that can use that? I like to use this drive. I don't know how big it is. It's a, uh, whoops, uh, Travel Star Hitachi. Uh, oh, it's a 40 gigabyte drive. I don't know if you can read that. 40 gigabyte drive. And there's an old hub, new hubs up there with the beautiful N uh, wireless. There's my printer, and various stuff my desk as seen from the floor the TV yay TV I can't hook up because neither one of these devices has uh, the ability to connect to it so yeah there oh one more thing that people always ask me what's in the dock what do you have in your dock you evil evil man well, let's just go from all the way from one side to the other. You can't really see that very well, but 
sure my camera is not used. Whoops. No. We got the finder. We got Safari. We have the dashboard. Mail client. Address book. iCal. Preview. Phobos. iPhoto. iMovie. GarageBand. System preferences. Recording time, which is my custom Apple script that launches those. Uh, activity monitor, of course. Parallels desktop. Nambu. Lime chat. The Perillo, which is actually just this. Uh, Camtasia for Mac. Adium. And the rest of it's, you know, the standard stuff, of course. Applications, documents, downloads, old red applications, which is uh, that computer. And then trash. So that's all that's what's on my dock. So, what's on my desktop, you're probably wondering. Not much. Chris Bieber. <laughs> yeah, I did that. I know. I'm evil. No one should ever do that to someone. But too late now. And Chris Wolverine. <laughs> I know, I'm mentally disturbed. And then this is the local Coos Bay wireless line go downtown. The city of Coos Bay wireless fidelity Wi-Fi service. <gasps> fidelity! Such a fancy word. This is unsecured, unsupported Wi-Fi network. Yay! These are limited to one-hour sessions. It's, yeah, that sucks. But hey, at least they actually have wireless downtown. So, yeah, there you go. Windows, Windows and Mac, and Windows and Mac. Not bad little setup, I guess. I don't know. Well, I think that's it. What else can I cover, Ray? Right? Oh, how fast does this thing run? A lot of people wonder. Well, we'll fire up Safari. Pretty fast. Make sure I quit first. We'll see, we'll see how many bounces. The bounces. Just a light program or whatever. One bounce. Okay. Dashboard, dashboard. Not bad. Hmm. Getting back out of the dashboard, there we go. Um, something that takes a while to load. Garage band. There we go. Now we're getting some bouncing. There we are. So kind of slow, but not too slow. If I put more RAM in, I bet you'd, you know, fly even faster. But yeah, it's fast enough for me. Uh, what else did people ask? People, oh, oh, people are always wondering: Is this one of Chris's old MacBooks? No, mine, mine, brand new mine. Um, oh yeah, Chris. I don't know if he's gonna watch this or not, but yeah. This looks familiar. We did a video on this not too long ago. Or something similar anyway. It's got this connector, which is the firewire, which I have to use for that. And a baggie full of all kinds of connectory goodness. Mini USB and another type of mini USB, another type of firewire, and another and the printer stupid type of connector and all that good stuff. So yeah. Oh, zero, uh, ESA. I don't know if uh, ESA is like FireWire where it's just way too powerful for USB 2.0. And that brings up an interesting question. Why make this if, you know, the device that you're going to be using and connected to you is so powerful that you can't connect it via USB? Seriously. Can someone explain? Maybe there are devices that are FireWire that are not that powerful. I don't know. I would assume that anything that uses this kind of connector would run at the same watch, so. Hmm. Whatever. 